Do you have some concerns about feeding medicated feed to your birds? And if you are, what's the withdrawal time before you can start eating the eggs again? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video and get it all cleared up for you. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're talking about medicated feed. I've had a lot of questions about that lately as to whether you should or shouldn't be feeding your birds medicated feed. If you are feeding them medicated feed, how long do you have to wait before you can eat the eggs or eat the meat? Let me start off by clearing up a few myths about medicated feed. Many people will say, well, I don't want to introduce antibiotics to my birds. Well, first of all, medicated feeds are not antibiotic. What's added to them is a, is a substance known as amprilium, amprolium, uh, yeah, amprolium, I always get the name wrong, amprolium, it is a thiamine blocker, not really a blocker, but it just kind of, uh, it blocks the absorption of thiamine. So what it's used for is a prevention of coccidiosis, coccidiosis, there we go, I always have a hard time with that word too. <laughs> Um, so, um, it's used in uh, birds, poultry mostly, um, it has been used in some other animals as well, uh, but the way it works is it ties up that thiamine, Co the bacteria that causes coccidiosis, the coccidia bacteria, requires thiamine, thiamine in order to be able to th thrive. So it doesn't treat thiamine, or excuse me, it doesn't treat coccidiosis, it's meant to prevent coccidiosis from occurring in your animals. So again, it's not an antibiotic, it's not antibacterial, it's just a compound added to the feed to help with that. Now the possible side effects of amprolium with your birds are gonna be um, like, it would be the same as what you would notice with a thiamine deficiency. So that would be like central nervous order dis um, d uh, problems, weight gain problems, some of those kinds of things. But the amounts that are in a medicated feed are so low, it's probably not going to affect your animals at all, no matter how much you feed to them. Now, if you have concerns about feeding that to your animals and you're worried about whether you should eat the eggs or not, the FDA has come out and said eggs are perfectly safe to eat. But the amount that's in the feed is such a small amount that it poses no risk whatsoever. I don't know if I really buy that or not. I mean, it's, there's no study I could find anywhere that, that showed any kind of ill effects on any people. There was a study done on rats for over a two-year period, and the rats were fed um, large amounts of this, um, not just not what was found in chicken feed, but much higher amounts for the course of two years. The only ill effects that they found were that they uh, kind of gained weight a little bit slower than the uh, other animals that were fed regular feed. So, you know, it's probably not a huge concern. It's nothing I would panic about. If all I could get was a bag of medicated feed, I really wouldn't worry about that. But at the same time, if I have a choice, if I got medicated or non-medicated, I'm going to go with the non-medicated. I think that if you are going to see any kind of problems with that, um, it would probably take a very long time. Like if you're eating eggs from those birds every single day over the course of many years, then it might present itself as a problem. And again, what you would notice is things like central nervous issue problems um, that look like a, look like a thiamine dis, um, disorder, uh, thiamine deficiency basically is what they would look like. Um, now, whether you should use medicated feed or not in your birds is really a personal choice for you. If you have problems with coccidiosis in your area, if it's a very common thing and you've had problems with your animals, then yeah, you may want to add some medicated food, especially to the young birds when they first um, you know, hatch out to prevent them from getting it or at least be able to deal with it a little bit better. Um, again, it's not a treatment, so if your animals already have it, the medicated feed is not going to treat that and cure that. It's just a preventative. I personally don't like to use preventatives on my animals unless I, you know, some kind of, you know, have to, really. I, I've never had a problem with coccidiosis in my animals. You may notice that you have a higher risk for it if you keep your animals on the ground. All my quail are in hutches raised off the ground. It's not impossible for them to get the disease, but it does lower the likelihood of that happening. And I've never had that issue in my animals. So if you don't know what that is, um, it's a bacteria. And the way that you would spot it is if you're butchering an animal and it has white spots on the liver, I mean, it could be many things, but that's a good indicator of coccidiosis. So if you're not seeing that in your animals, you probably don't have a problem with it. It's probably nothing to worry about. Again, if you are feeding your birds medicated feed, um, how long is the withdrawal time? You know, the FDA says you can eat the eggs 
you know, no problem whatsoever. But if you're worried and you don't want to consume any of that improleum into your body, then you probably should wait at least 10 days. The studies have shown that it shows up in the eggs for about 10 days after treatment. So wait at least 10 days before eating the eggs. Um, as far as the meat, I would wait at least 30 days before consuming the meat. Again, I really don't, I don't see a problem with it. If I um, had fed my, you know, got a bag of uh, medicated feed by mistake and fed that to my birds, I wouldn't hesitate to eat those eggs. I just don't want to feed it to them on a daily basis every single day, eat those eggs every single day. So that's just my take on it. You can make your own decision on that. Hopefully I've given you some information here. I did not quote the studies below because they're easy enough to look up on your own and you get a lot of kind of mixed uh, information. There's not really a lot of studies been done on humans in it. The only thing is it just says not for human consumption. So, you know, not a big concern though. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, God bless.